See that later on, of course. And then, uh, do you remember Teabag? Yeah, well, that's coming back. Brand new series, and that's on after the break, so don't go away. Stay with us. Well, now it's 1989, do you realise there's some fabulous new shows starting on Children's Eye TV? Well, there's Five Minute Wonders with uh, Gabriel Bradshaw, there's Disney's DuckTales, there's Owl TV, there's Hot Dog, there's Round the Bend, there's thousands of great shows which you can see, so watch out for those this week on Children's Eye TV. Right now, it's Teabag. returns. I haven't returned. You brought me here. Silence, you wicked woman. How dare you? Do you think you can order me about? Oh, I can do a great many things, my girl. Like this. My evil weed. What? And this. My beautiful tea plant. What have you done? There's no room for anything evil in the tea set, my girl. Including you. What? You can't do this to me. I've done it. And now you will serve me once again. And remember this. And remember it well. I am the high tea. Thanks. Oh. After anything special? Not really. Oh. oh, this is nice. Yes, yes. And, um, oh, and this. Now that is interesting. I don't know what it is, but it's very old. Oh. Oh, is it? Have you just come in out of the rain? Well, oh, actually, yes. Sorry, do you mind? No, not at all. It's tipping down out there. <laughs> What a summer. Oh, I've got the kettle on. Fancy a cup of tea till it stops? Well, I don't want to put you to any trouble. No trouble. Back in a minute, um, I'm Sally. Sally, Thomas, hi. Hi. I won't be long. Have a look round. Oh, thanks. <laughs> And never to return, now that your wicked tea plant is no more than a smouldering pile of ashes. Oh, my poor, precious, evil weed. Oh, enough of this. Your days of running amok are over. It's time you turned over a new leaf. A new leaf? You're right. I quite agree. And now that you are once more a member of the ancient order of the tea set, you know what must be done. You must be joking. I'm not drinking that muck. You must sip from the cup of goodness, the tea that puts the tea in tolerance, tenderness, and truth. Bunkum! That's a drink for weak-kneed, namby-pamby, goody-goodies. All right, I'll drink. Good. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have other important matters to attend to. <coughs> Show that old battle axe who's boss around here. Hmm, I rather like this. But I don't like all this. A few changes round here, and this place will suit me to a tea. <laughs> ah, yes. That's much better.
going on? What is all this? I warned you not to tangle with me, didn't I? But your tea plant. Ah, yes. What's done can easily be undone. You can't do this. I've done it. I have the power to stop you. Try it. <laughs> now who's the high tea? Me! <laughs> and now get out of my sight, you old has-been. Who are you? Thomas! 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 Sally! Sally! Well done. What a hero. Tea bag. Yes, it's me. Oh, no. What is going on? It was a trick. Oh, what an idiot. Who is she? Tell the girl, T-shirt. T-shirt? Who's T-shirt? Me, I'm T-shirt. But you're Thomas. Not anymore. What a mean, rotten trick that was, pretending you were going to zap Sally. Who was pretending? You're a beast, you are. Oh, come now. Is that any way to speak to an old chum like me? You're no chum of mine. Well, chum or no chum, you're here now, and you're going to do exactly as I say. So, my little genius tea-making friend, get brewing. No, I won't. Not in a million years. Not now, not never. No way. Get me? No way. Tea's up. Mm. Thank you, T-shirt. Nobody in the whole wide world makes a cup of tea as well as you do. You've got the golden touch, boy, no doubt about it. Yeah, that's why you tricked me into coming here, isn't it? I knew you'd come running to the rescue, and your little friend here was most obliging, weren't you, my dear? No, I was not. Look, I don't know what all this is about, but I want to go. Well, that's just tough. You've seen too much. You're staying put. Oh, let her go, Your Majesty. Please. No. If you let her go, I'll stay and be your tea caddy. You are already. You're staying and she's staying. Get it, got it, grand. Now, what are you up to this time? Whatever do you mean? I know you, teabag. You're always up to something, and it's never something good. I'm not up to anything. <laughs> you can't fool me. What is it this time? My lips are sealed. I knew it. Well, go on then, spit it out. The less you know about it, the better. I'm not having you foul things up again. I'm saying nothing. Come on, out with it. No. It's my little secret. Big secret, actually. Fair enough. Don't tell me, then. <whistles> All right, then, I'll tell you. Come here. I don't want her listening. Where is she? Gone! We've got to find her. Who's there? If that's you, Teabag, or whatever your name is, I'm not afraid of you. Who are you? Who are you? You're not a friend of Teabag's. You must be joking. You! I am the high tea. I saw what Teabag did to you. You should have seen what she did to me. Oh, there's nothing to what she could do. Things have become very dangerous. What do you mean? Tolula Bag wants power, and she'll go to any lengths to get it, I know. This is crazy. I don't know how, my dear. But somehow you stumbled onto something you ought not to know about. But believe me, you are in great danger. We all are. Aha! And there she is, sneaky little madam. I'll teach her to go running off. Oh, leave her, Your Majesty. 
What harm can she do you? My life's been plagued by loathsome little girls. Deborah's Hollis, brat. I'm taking no chances with this one. Come on, boy. I have something important to do. Let's go. Teabag! Well, here's a merry little gathering. What do you want? You know, don't you? You'll never get away with it, Teabag. Never! Get away with what? Will you tell her? Or shall I? Look, what is all this about? It's about these. Wow! Aha. What are they? The eight enchanted spoons of the tea set. Go on, tell her. These spoons were forged centuries ago from a meteor of solid moon silver. Amazing! What's more amazing is what they can do. Tell them, go on, tell them. Every hundred years, something spectacular happens in the night sky. And? The stars come together in a magnificent celestial formation. It's a wonder to behold. Never mind that. Get to the good bit. When that happens, the time is right. Right for what? Tell them. For one short moment, a great surge of universal energy is focused on this very spot. What do those spoons do, then? They act like magnets and draw in the power, the power that for thousands of years has rejuvenated the tea set in the name of all that is good. Until now, that is. Thank you. From now on, that power will be mine, all mine. I will be omnipowerful in the name of all that is bad. Tallulah Bag will be empress of all that is evil. <laughs> What are we going to do? Don't worry. I'll think of something. T-shirt! Come in, Your Majesty! <sighs> According to my careful calculations, T-shirt, the stars should be in approximately the right position ten days from now. Ten short days I can hardly wait. Me neither, Your Majesty. Um, until the great day arrives... And it will be a great day, T-shirt. I shall reign supreme. Yeah, well, until then, we'd better make sure nothing happens to those spoons. I was thinking, why not give them to me and I'll put them somewhere safe? Thoughtful as ever. You know me. Yes, I do. That's why I've already hidden them myself. You have? Where? Somewhere no one will ever find them. I don't want any sticky fingers anywhere near them, including yours. So... Ten peaceful days to kill. Isn't it nice to be back together again? No. Oh, don't be so grumpy. Where's that cheeky little smile? Get off. I never wanted to stay with you. Oh, it wasn't that bad, surely. Huh. Think of the good times. Ha! Huh. Oh, there were good times. Admittedly, we got into the odd scrape or two. But I'm sure you can remember things that you've enjoyed. You're not here to have fun. You're here to serve me. Don't forget that. Yes, Your Majesty. Clear away all this rubbish. I shouldn't have to put up with this nonsense. Really, T-shirt, you should take a lesson from me. Be serious. Be sober. Be serious. Now, I'm reaching deep down inside me for the magic power. You are in my power. When I clap my hands, you will do everything I tell you. You are feeling very light. Your whole body is weightless. You feel as if you could fly. Concentrate now. You're starting to float in the air. Rise! 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 Rise? Oh, this is rubbish. It doesn't work. What am I doing wrong, Your Majesty? Your Majesty, come down. I didn't mean you. Come down. Oh, what do I have to do to get you down? Oh, yes, that's it. I clap my hands. Now, Your Majesty, when you hear a clap, you come out of the spell. Ah! Now, don't throw a wobbly, Your Majesty. That's it. That's it. Come here, I'm going to wring your neck. Get back! Wait till I get my hands on you. No! I've had all I can take, I can't take any more! Oh, it's twigged, has it? Ha ha! Well, whoever you are, you've crossed swords with the wrong person this time. On guard! If you insist. Ha <laughs> ha! 
There, you see, I told you. Well, I think I'll go and relax. Catch up on my beauty sleep. Yeah, you do that. Have a nice long kiss. Don't worry, I will. Sleep tight. Don't let the bugs bite. I need your help. There isn't much time. Teabag's gone to bed and she's hidden the spoons. The three of us should be able to find them, so come on. Are you sure we won't run into her? No, she always goes out like a light. Join hands. How do you know the spoons are here? She hasn't left the room since we got back. Let's look. They're not here. Who? Oh, the spoon! Oh, I've lived here all these years and never knew about this. Grab the spoons and leave the box. Good idea. <sighs> T-shirt, it's time you're in bed. What? Sally Simpkins, what do you think you're doing stealing Her Majesty's precious spoons? Don't give me that. I should have known better. I'll deal with you later. First, give me the spoons. No! Give, I said. What the? It's no good. You can't harm her. The magic of the spoons protects her. No, but I can harm you. No! Right, boy. The spoons. Give them to me. It was worth a try. Give, give! No, never! Why, you little... Where are they? Gone. Gone where? I don't know, and I don't care. Just so long as you don't have them. You wretched boy. I should have done this in the first place. No! I am your humble tea caddy, oh great and wonderful majesty. T-shirt! You evil woman! Be quiet, you two! Right, you little fool, where are those spoons? I honestly don't know, your majesty. I magic them away as hard as I could. They could be anywhere, anywhere at all. Well, that's just great. Here we go again. You stupid boy! What's that? There isn't much time. Put it on. What is it? It's a pendant made from the same silver that the spoons were made of. Wherever the spoons are, this will lead you to them. How? It will guide you through the tea junctions in time and space. T-junctions? I don't understand. Oh, you will. You're young and bright. If anyone can get their spoons back, it's you. But what about Teabag? Won't she come after me? Oh, she will, but don't worry. So long as you wear this pendant, you'll be safe. Now, quickly, please, through the first T-junction. What do I do? Hold it tight. That's the way. Oh, I feel it tingling. It's all right. I feel strange. You're on your way. Good luck. On my way where? Where am I going? Where am I going? Going, going, going. Come back safely. Curse, it's too late. That interfering old windbag. I'll bring her back by the scruff of the neck. We've got to get those spoons first. Yeah, but how? They could be anywhere, any place, any time. Like looking for tadpoles in a typhoon. Not quite, T-shirt. The silver charm will lead the girl, and the girl will lead us. Seek out the spoon, Sally Simpkins. But just remember this, my dear. Wherever you go, we'll be right behind you. Fantastic. Follow the adventures of Teabag and the revenge of the T-shirt tea set next week at the same time. And stay tuned for Count Ducula. He's next. Now listen, tomorrow on Children's ITV you can see some fantastic new shows like Gabriel Bradshaw's uh, Five Minute Wonders followed by a trip.